In 96, a film called Multiplicity starring Michael Keaton about cloning himself was released. These are one of the most popular effects that people like to use. With shots entailing up to four Michael Keatons in the frame at one time, visual effects were always going to be necessary. A complex but foolproof system involving a silent, motion-controlled setup, camera head encoder, and on-set split-screen feedback from a nearby trailer for getting the cloning shots done was proposed. Firstly, the scenes would be shot with Keaton and up to three stand-ins playing the clones. The first take was the key shot, as every take that followed had to match the camera movement and action. To ensure that the movement of the actors could be replicated, a camera head yeah, was devised like a gun-like laser. An operator would follow the footsteps of, say, the stand-in, who was the second guy that Michael Keaton was playing. <laughs> The laser was in sync with a video camera that the stand-in was carrying at head height. This meant that Michael could play to his second character, and his second character would then see what the stand-in was shooting, which was the first Michael Keaton. That meant the island was perfect. Basically, Michael was looking at the camera that was there, that was where his head was going to be in the next shot. Keaton would then change into wardrobe and makeup for the next take to play another version of himself. The downtime meant that the crew could then quickly establish travel split screens and compositing with the process continuing up to four times for four different Keaton roles, occasionally with some shots taken on blue or green screen. In places where the actor might walk past facilities, making it easier to composite. Now, in takes where Objects were passed between clones. Rotoscoping was brought back in, frame by frame, to bring in Michael's own hands. Now, all the fancy camera equipment was back in 96. You don't actually need any of that now. And I'm going to break it down. To reproduce this, all you need to do is make sure when you're filming yourself or another person twice, you have an invisible line which you both can't cross. To make this easier, lock down the camera. Film your first shot and make sure that the person knows not to cross the line. Here, I've used tape. Then, redo the shot again for where the clone will be and move into that location. Then, place both clips into After Effects. Like the film here, I'm doing four different shots of Lego people. Drag and drop both clips into the composition and make sure they align perfectly. Then, draw a mask around the top clip right up to the invisible line of where they shouldn't cross. Then go into then open up the mask properties and feather this out so both clips match into sequence seamlessly and you're done. It's really that simple. Full disclosure here guys I've never actually watched this film. The trailers look good, but never actually got around to it. So, seeing that we're all locked down in isolation, might be on my to-do list.